Saudi nuclear program accelerates, raising tensions in a volatile region. On the outskirts of Riyadh, a building site is quickly being transformed into the birthplace of Saudi Arabia's quest for nuclear power, a bid that has sparked concern in the U.S. Congress and fury in Tehran. New satellite imagery shows that construction on an experimental reactor is making expeditious progress just three months after the kingdom announced plans to build it, according to former director for nuclear inspections at the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, Robert Kelly. Kelly estimated that the reactor could be completed in nine. The kingdom has been open about its nuclear program with the IAEA, which sent a team to Saudi Arabia last July to check on building plans. It has repeatedly also raising concern among industry experts and some in Congress is the Saudi insistence that it should be allowed to produce its own nuclear fuel, rather than import it under strict conditions. In an, Saudi Energy Minister Khalid al Faliz said it's Saudi Arabia went public with its nuclear ambitions nine years ago, but the plans have gone into overdrive as part of the Crown Prince's vision. It already consumes about one quarter of its own oil production, and output is likely to remain roughly stable even as demand for energy is expected to triple by 2030. So the blueprint, longer term, Saudi Arabia envisions 17 gigawatts of nuclear capacity by 2040, enough to provide 15% of its power needs. The experimental reactor under construction at the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology is designed for training scientists, Kelly told CNN. It's Next, the Saudis want to build two commercial reactors and are shopping around for contractors. There are five final. The IAEA sent a team to Saudi Arabia in July last year to review the development of its nuclear power infrastructure. That mission concludes. Mikhail Chudakov, IAEA Deputy Director General, confirmed Saudi Arabia had made. But when the Saudis want to move to the next stage, fueling the reactor at King Abdulaziz City and any commercial plants, they will have to submit to more intrusive IAEA involvement. Dave. Skepticism in the U.S. Congress over whether Saudi Arabia can be a trusted partner has grown since the gruesome murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in Istanbul last year. That's now Manif asked whether it was acceptable for Saudi Arabia to become a nuclear power, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was unequivocal in a TV interview on Friday. We a bipartisan resolution introduced in the Senate in February demanded that the use of any U.S. nuclear power technology in Saudi Arabia must be accompanied by safeguards to ensure Saudi Arabia cannot enrich uranium or reprocess spent fuel. They that in 2017 White House officials had pushed the sale of nuclear technology to Saudi Arabia despite a spokesman for in heated exchanges at the Senate Armed Services Committee at the end of March, U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry said that if the United States did not cooperate with the Saudis, they would look to Russia or China to develop their nuclear industry. I. That's. Perry said his department had approved several applications for U.S. companies to sell nuclear power technology and assistance to Saudi Arabia. However, they Iran claims that the Trump administration plans to sell Saudi Arabia nuclear technology without sufficient safeguards. First, and in March, Ali Shamkani, secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, accused unnamed regional states of developing suspicious. Whatever Saudi Arabia's energy strategy, and however sincere its pledge that it has no wish to develop nuclear weapons, the mere existence of a nuclear program is bound to inflame tensions across the Gulf.